And what makes the chilies hot? There's a lot of myths, like the heat being in the seeds. It's not the seeds at all. It's that yellow vein, if you can see it on there, on that cross wall, that bright right. yellow vein there. Right up that membrane there, there's a yellow. And what is that? Is that an oil or a... It's, it's an oil that's full of what we call capsaicinoids. Those are the, the alkaloids chilies have that make that heat sensation in your mouth. I see. Well, I tell you what, I've rubbed my finger uh, up and uh, down this pepper, so when I go to the bathroom later, please remind me to wash <laughs> my hands. First. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Ow! The heat depends on what type of chili, not which color. But the reds are always a little sweeter since the sugar content rises as they ripen. And now that we know what makes them hot, we gotta figure out how to cut the heat. The chili doctor says milk, but we're a little skeptical. Took a good bite. I got a good bite going. Good crunch. Oh man, I got the heat going. <clears throat> Give the water a try. Quick, quick, I ate one too hot. Little water. <sighs> Didn't work, you're right. <laughs> Little beer. Doesn't work, but he doesn't care. Wow, it doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> oh, no, give it <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to work later. Oh, man, the doc is right. That is unbelievable. Drink milk. You eat something too hot, drink milk. So, Doc, what's the hottest chili in the world? And the hottest chili we know in the world is the Bucciolochi. It's from India. It just looks hot. And again, since the heat's only on the inside, you can take a chili like this. You want to rub your eyes with it. You won't get any heat. Doc, oh hold goodness. still. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that we've graduated from Chili 101, we're so heading across campus to cook up our first uh, fun, easy, tasty chili pepper recipe. We are gonna make feasty green chili and cheese flautas! Flautas! It doesn't get any easier than this, folks. This. We got some hungry people. Let's get going. About a teaspoon of sugar. We got a little bacon. You can't go without bacon, John. You can't go without bacon. About a cup of bacon. And if you're cooking with bacon, I'm using cheddar cheese. <laughs> there you go. Got some corn. Great southwestern ingredient, corn. Chilies. Those are roasted. A little bit more flavor than just the chili sauce. Oh, man. And again, you've got some green chili sauce. It's the reason we're here, now, my friend. Go about half on this, bud, because this is where And we're, we're gonna just going to add about half of that and mix it around so it stays thick like a paste. Right. And we Pretty just, good. that was probably about a cup of chili sauce. We got it just where we want. See how it can pack a little bit? See that packing? Isn't that nice? Notice how we're putting just a little bit of the filling in the middle of the corn tortilla, because we want to be able to roll them tight without everything spilling out all over the place. Up next! This oil is nice and hot. We finish off our feasty flouters and feed the hungry masses. Then... <laughs> the Feasty Boys head to the chili pepper capital of the world. We're picking peppers down on the farm in Hatch, New Mexico.